Okay, so the way you should think about it is that the bank has a balance sheet. There are two things on the balance sheet. On one side is the assets, what the bank owns and what the lending it does. And on the other side is the debt and the equity, the liabilities and the equity of the bank. And capital requirements are about the mix on the right-hand side of debt and equity. How much equity should it have versus how much debt? That's what the debate is about. Equity is for example, if you were to buy a house, equity is what you have after you pay your mortgage. Equity for publicly held firms is just the stuff that's traded in the New York Stock Exchange. It's all the stuff that their stockholders, shareholders have. That's the equity for a publicly held bank. Otherwise, it's private equity or other thing, but that's basically the claim on everything after debt is paid. Equity's opposite is the debt. The debt comes in different ways. Equity also has the varieties, but debt comes as deposit, kind of debt, uh, short-term debt, long-term debt, uh, secured debt, subordinated debt. There is lots of kinds of debt, but the thing about debt, which is different from equity, is that it's a very hard claim, that it says, I owe you a specific amount of money, and I have to pay you unless all sorts of bad things happen, default, distress, bankruptcy.